shit, I was excited. I mean, it's more competition to the division. I mean, anytime you can add players like that, it's, it just it makes the game even much funner. What challenge does having a guy like that? Uh, he's one of the best at what he do. So you got to be ready for kind of everything. One of the best receivers going to go against this year. Jeremy, what makes playing the Raiders such a great rivalry for the ball club? Uh, I just say being able to play them two times a year. Um, the teams know each other very well. And um, like I said, it's always competition. How much did that loss in week 18 motivate you guys through OTAs and training camp? I mean, for guys like Khalil Mack or Sebastian, they didn't get to feel that, feel that feeling that I felt in week 18. So our whole mindset is we're a new team, 2022 Chargers, and we're just trying to go out there and compete versus Raiders. A lot of people have a different feel of opinion on Derek Carr. Some, you know, he's an elite, and then other guys, then you sometimes hear he's just a middle of the pack quarterback. What, what do you think of uh, I think he's a good quarterback. Um, I, I think he does a great job getting his guys open, um, finding, making the right reads, making the right plays. Don't turn the ball over that much. And um, like I said, he gets the ball a lot really, really quick. John, what was your reaction? Um, obviously, the season ended last year against the Raiders. What was your reaction you thought was opening this year against the Raiders? Uh, for me, I was excited, you know, just for the opportunity to compete against anybody. But, um, you know, for me, I just wanted to come out and just compete. So to have it, the Raiders, you know, I'm excited for that. Uh, we, don't, we don't try to take it on motivating the, on the fans or leaving on that. We got to go out and play ball. Rather, we got more fans or they got fans. We, we just got to play football. What do you remember about that game? Uh, what I remember about that game, just walking off that field. Um, for me, just that feeling um, for me. But like I said, we're a new team. Guys like JC, Khalil, they didn't get to feel what I felt. So, you know, we're a new team. What, what, what were you feeling? Uh, me, I was just feeling like, man, I was just a little disappointed, you know. I don't, it, I, nobody in the locker room wanted the season to end like that. But um, like I said, we get a new opportunity, new chance this year to make it right. We don't have to come down to that. Can you carry over a bitter taste to another year, or is that just too many months of pain? No, nah, that's too many months, too many new teams. They got a new head coach, new players, like you say, Devontae. We got new players, so you can't really leave it on that. Every, every team has got new players, and we're, it's a new team going out there to compete. Uh, man, they're level two and they're level three, just at the top of the route, you know, being able to make everything kind of look the same and um, different cut, multi-cut guys. So we just got to be ready. How did things change for the defense at all? JC can't go. I don't, I don't think you practiced with him at all during the training camp. I know walkthroughs, but actually in practice. So is it comfortable for you just because he wasn't really out there when you actually got back on the field or did things change for you guys? Uh, out there. Uh, nothing changed. We 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 the same same people. I mean, we we're going out there to compete. It's fun. Um, when JC's out there, we all out there balling together. And um, like I say, it's gonna be exciting. What's it been like working with Khalil, um, Sebastian, Troy, all those new guys? It's been amazing because those guys they don't they don't look for excuse. They don't complain about much. They just show up and work, and um, they just try to help help each other out on defense. And it's it's, 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 a, it's a joy to play with. They helped you out, helped out a lot of you guys too because they've had they've had unique experiences in this system and that carryover. Oh yes, sir. Like you saying, man. I mean, Sebastian and Troy they was just playing in the Super Bowl a year ago. So um, with that experience, um, it's just only gonna help us. Guys like Calvin, Noy, JC, guys like that have real Super Bowl experience. Did you guys try and pick Calvin Noy's mind about this offense, especially because that is the kind of the Patriots offense with Josh McDaniels coming over and, and being a former Patriot? Uh, it's everybody coming in, making a making a collective e effort. I mean, I got to play my part in knowing the scouting report. Nas got to play his part. The coaches got to bring what they bring. So it's everybody, man. It ain't just one person. How are you guys approaching the, the game planning from in terms of like what film you're watching? Is it is it the Patriots game from last year? Is it mostly Patriots film to get an idea of what they're going to do offensively? Because obviously there's is a new staff there. Uh, we're really just trying to make it about us, man. The, mo the more film we can make about us and line up and play, I mean, we'll be just fine. It's really about us. It's, it's really not about them. Joe, you personally, how do you feel? Because you did miss a few weeks of camp. I feel amazing. I'm healthy, ready to go. And I, like I said, I got my hair cut. I can't wait to go on Sunday. <laughs> uh, I'm ready. I'm, man, like the first day of school, I, I can't wait. Does the haircut make you feel faster? Man, I just feel good overall. Just, it's just good energy around the building, around the team. I just feel good. I want to put three uh, playoffs being the goal, three years without a playoffs. Yes, sir. Why would you say this is the playoff team, or why is this year's team better than last year? 
Uh, I don't really want to try to look at it as we're better than the team last year. I just feel like we get a new opportunity to start over zero and zero and, you know, not let it come down to one game or we got to get in because of this team lose. Just we get to take care of every game, game by game and leave it on our own hands. And I think that's what's going to be unique about this season versus last season. Are you good energy around the building? What do you mean? Coaches, players, even the owners. It's, it's, it's good energy from everybody. Man, just loving what you're doing. I love what I do. I'm so close. Staley loves what he do. So if you got a collective guys loving what they're doing every day, it's, it's gonna be good energy. Do you think it has anything to do with the fact that you have a pretty stacked roster this year? I don't think it has nothing to do with that. How do you feel like the relationship between you and Nas has grown? It's grown a lot um, versus his first year to his second year because uh, I didn't get to play with Nas. I was hurt when he was out there uh, early in his career, but now just playing with him, man. Nas, he's he's even making some of the calls back to me. It's, it's amazing having Nas out there with me. He's more confident too, and um, I got all the confidence in the world in him. Your division is really, really good. Is that a blessing or a curse? A blessing, I man. If you, if you consider yourself the best, why not play against the best? It's it's a blessing to be able to go out there and play him two times a week, two times a year. So it's it's, it's going to be fun. More pressure because the first two games are in a division. Or do you look at that as a blessing because it's an immediate measuring stick? I, I don't feel like it's pressure at all. I, I feel like we, if we just come out and execute, do what we need to do, it's football at the end of the day. We don't need to make it about division, who's here. It's, it's football. Let's go out and play week one. You say that you're obviously hungry for this upcoming season. You get Darren Waller and Travis Kelsey back to back to the best tight ends. I see you smiling. Yeah. Are, are you excited about that going up against both of them? I'm definitely excited. You know I'm excited. I love the challenge. Is it, is it uh, maybe, uh, you know, you get the Raiders, your longtime rival, yeah. just right out of the bat. Is that good? Uh, you don't care? Well, it was the Raiders, the Chiefs, the Broncos. We got to line up and play. It, it really don't matter. Like, we got to play them all, and um, we're excited that it's the Raiders, but it really didn't matter if it was the Chiefs or the Broncos. It doesn't matter. We got to go out and play when the game kicks off. Anything else? Got bragging rights over Fayhoka now? Oh, yeah, man. Florida State, baby. We back, baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>